should go through just a few bits of news. This came out actually last week as we were recording. I think it actually came out as like I hit stop record. Uh, yeah. Reaping the rewards. You guys are going to get five times your Ember Shards for your chain bound events from May 30th to what is it, June 6th? Yeah, June 6th. So five yeah. times. <laughs> does that include your guys'? No, it won't include the Vault no, no, Tour, no. will it? Oh, what a bummer. I couldn't imagine them giving five times at a Vault Tour. But that said, I already am planning on hitting up, I think, four sealed tournaments uh, honoring the release of AOA. So that's four, uh, even in sealed, as long as it's considered coded as chain bound. I'll be getting, you know, five amber shards per entry. Uh, five. Uh, I don't know if that includes deck scans, but that could be five per deck scan, <clears throat> and then five per win. So that's potential at each of those tournaments to get. It says uh, just during chain bound events. So that probably doesn't include scans. Probably even, not. So that, that's still five for the entry and five per win. So that's still a good chunk. I mean. Yeah, if, I mean, I win a lot. So, like, if I win any of those, that's 25 Amber Shards per win. Um, but even if I go 3-1, and one, I'm looking at 20, 2-2, two, two, uh, 15. Like that's, that's, a, that's more Amber Shards than a lot of people get in a month. Yeah, so, chair, here we come. We're on our, we're yeah. on our way. <laughs> the chair, right? I want that chair. I still want the chair. Well, I if know. I win in Atlanta this weekend, I can get that chair. Well, you sh- should totally do it. <laughs> And then I'll just be jealous, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I tried convincing Steve to just give me one, and that that went uh, that went as well as it sounds. It went. Yeah, yeah. Steve's a great guy, but that's not happening. He's a really so. good guy, but you know, there's <laughs> there's boundaries. I did confirm it is printed to house preference, so it's. I know they just showed us the one. Steve did tell me like if your favorite house was shadows, it would be a shadows print. Um, so that's cool. Uh, for the people that just saw the thank them one and that's all they get to see yeah I'd, I'd like to see the other ones you know even if it's just concept design you know because like it depends like uh, what shadows is kind of gray and purple uh yeah 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 are the accents well no no purple no, no. Uh, purple would be mars mars would definitely have purple and green in it shadows is like what <laughs> gray and darker gray well purple and yellow <laughs> Oh yeah, I, it's oh yeah, it's got the purple rim. It's it's probably more like you see all the pictures with the thieves on them, like yeah. um, urchin, like that's color scheme. Yeah, and then like what is logo? It's just blue and that really ugly orange color. Yeah, I, I would want to see one before I'm like, that's the one I want, because then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's an ugly ass chair, and now it sits yeah. in, now it sits in my living room or wherever. Well, and then sits. well, what about this black and hot pink? Like, uh, I mean, like that's what it is, right? Yeah, kind of that hot pink purple. <laughs> yeah, that could be a good a looking weird... chair, though. Yeah, depends on preference. I, I guess I actually could see that more than uh, the logos, the orangish color. Yeah, that orange color is just god awful. Looks good on a card. I don't know how it look on a chair. Yeah, we'd. Ha- I, I'd want some pictures before I, I make a choice. But um, obviously, we'll we'll move on. We'll get into uh, vault tour stuff this upcoming weekend here in a little bit. But we got to mm-hmm. start out with the new article that just dropped. I believe yesterday at the time of this recording, trust your instincts. We got to, even though we've seen most of the cards, uh, fantasy yeah, flight still thinks we're in the dark as to something. Yeah. I, I don't think uh, there's anything necessarily super that stuck out as a, that I hadn't seen. Although there was one card that I think blew some people's minds when, cause I, I got messaged it a couple times throughout the day. Um, and that's memory chip. So yeah. we hadn't seen that. And that is, so I'm a huge Library of the Damned fan for, I mean, it might still be my favorite card. I think my favorite card is Battlefleet by default because that's my favorite deck. It has three of them in key abduction, so I kind of have to like love that card. But Library of the Damned is probably way high up on my list, top 10 cards. Um, and this is better. You have a Library of the Damned that is immune to Nexus and Remote Access. Uh, that's just amazing. Yeah, so, you just kind of got to blow it up. So for those of you wondering, Memory Chip is an artifact item. After you choose a Logos as your active house, you just archive a card. Yeah. Like, no questions asked. Just do it. Uh, obviously gets yeah. around a good hunk of the artifact hate, uh, which is just you use it. And yeah. it it's now used. You can't use it on your turn. This just goes all the time, yeah. every time. So. Yeah, so I mean, like, like as I just said, Nexus, Remote Nexus doesn't matter. 
Yes, they can still poltergeist it, but I mean, a lot of decks are going to have better targets for poltergeist because they actually want to get a use effect. Um, here, they would just be destroying it. So, yeah. memory trip is going to be tops of my list of cards I've already seen in AOA that I am super excited to to get in and play with. 